guys, Fugus101 here, and uh, I'm here again with my, uh, it's Wacom or Wacom, can someone write down in the comments how it's pronounced, um, I'm just going to say Wacom, I'm here again with my Wacom Bamboo Create uh, tablet, and um, I've been using it for the past couple weeks, and I am in love with this thing, I'm obsessed with it. I'm already starting on a big, uh, not big, but a really detailed drawing or painting, I guess, on Photoshop, which I actually got. And in this video, I'm going to be doing a demo with this and showing you exactly how it works. So uh, I also got wireless for it, so you don't need a cord. As you can see right there. There's like an on button and stuff, and how it's in, how it comes is it comes with this, which is this little thing that you plug in to turn it on. Why is my camera not focusing on it? And it then it comes with this thing in here, which I'll show you in a second. So that just goes right back in. slides on and in here you just lift this up and this is the thing that you plug into the computer look how tiny this is so yeah I'm gonna be doing a demo on this and the way I'm filming this my camera is in a really awkward position it's directly above this and my laptop is actually just off screen so um so uh, yeah, as you can see, uh, you can see the me on the tablet in the far corner down here. And uh, as you can see, it's very compatible with the with the uh, mouse on the screen with the arrow. So um, I did get Photoshop. It's down here. So I will open that up. This this program is, is excellent. I got the extended version which comes with this 3D up here. Um, one thing I just want to show you real quick is that the, uh, the tablet comes with this. You have to draw to open it. It comes with all of these different applications. There's this which you can use to just like doodle around so there's like an L, a D, my initials you can just like clear it like that. They give you different types of paper, so if you want plain paper, they give you all these different tools like a pencil, so if you wanted to just sketch something out. And they give you different types of lead with it, so if you want 4B, it's real dark. If you want HB, it's like that. And um, you got like that like paint brushes so it's really cool you also have this which is like a little game if you can hear the noise so you just like you just do that um but anyway back to photoshop um, I will show you real quick what I have been working on. It is, it's titled Bane for some reason, but it is, because it started out as Bane, but then it became Spider-Man, and I am pretty pleased with how it's coming out so far. Um, I'm completely freehanding this, I'm not looking at anything. As I said, it started out as Bane, but then I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of in the mood to do Spider-Man instead. So you have all these tools, like I can zoom in on it if I want. And this is this is his face so far. I haven't done much with his body. I've made the spider symbol. And uh, I'm just finishing up his head. And I made this cool like web effect right here. So it kind of looks like the the web is in your face. But yeah, that's that's what I've been working on. Um, so I will do a new layer. 
or a new file, sorry. And uh, so we have this right here. And um, actually, I'll make it a little bit bigger. Just typing, sorry. All right, yeah. So we have this, and uh, you have your paintbrush over here, and you also have a pencil, which is just like a, a fine-tipped paintbrush. So I'll just delete all that. Then, um, sorry if I'm like bumping into my tripod. It's actually right there. It's it's actually over my arm. That's how I have to draw on this. But um, yeah, you have your paintbrush. And this, this little button on here is what I use to change this. As you can see, wherever I click, this comes up. That's just changing the brush type and the size. So if I want it real big, you know, I have that. If I want it super small for small details, I have that. So it's pretty nice. Um, I keep bumping into this thing. So I guess I'll just give you a little drawing demo here uh, I'm trying to figure out how I want to draw this I guess I'll just do it in like this size is pretty good right no that's fine and I'll just do it in black um all these tools over here are really useful you have a uh, eraser you have a blur if you want to kind of like not blend, but kind of not make edges so uh, sharp. You have this, which can lighten. It's called the dodge tool. You have the burn tool, which darkens, and a sponge tool. You have a smudge tool, which comes in handy. And also in the brushes, you have a mixer, which can mix colors to, to allow better detail. So I'll go down here. I'll move this thing out of the way. You start a new layer, and uh, hmm, what should I draw? Something simple, so you guys can just get the basic feel of how I draw on this. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. Oh crap! What? Oh, I'm not even on the brush. Okay. So, as you can see, it's very accurate to my hand. Uh, it's very easy to use. This is a very sloppy looking sketch. You, you guys know I can draw. Um, it takes a bit of getting used to. But, again, it is uh, It's quite fun. A little branch there. Little branch coming up here. Oh, I keep hitting the 
thing. That gets a little bit annoying that that uh, tool keeps coming in. And uh, what's good about the layers is you, oh, that's way too small. You can erase stuff without actually erasing like what's behind it. So if I wanted to color this bird in, let me just adjust this first. If I wanted to color this crappy looking bird in without uh, wrecking the black, I could uh, get some, let's see, I'm going to color this bird purple. So you go up to here to all your swatches, which are like all necessary colors, and you do a new layer behind uh, this. You get your brush, make it a little bit bigger. As you can see, I'm oh, I didn't put it behind. You drag it behind layer one. I keep hitting this tripod. As you can see, it doesn't go through the uh, the black. It stays behind it, which is really nice. So, uh, yeah. Like the yellow on the beak too, and then like whenever it goes over the edges, you just erase it. When you get your eraser, and you do that. Photoshop is really good for uh, for like cartoons and like uh, anime stuff, which I'm not really interested in. I don't like it that much. Um, I know some people are really good at it though like some anime work is really good but uh, I've never had an interest in it but the anime stuff people do on Photoshop is really impressive uh, I'm just going to start a new I'm going to get rid of this bird don't save and uh, it th this is really good for sketching too so I'm just going to grab an HB pencil And this is what I did for Spider-Man. I started out with just a base sketch. Started out with this head. Going down, doing his shoulders. I made it so his head was turning also. This head looks terrible though, but... I made his shoulder coming down, and then you kind of make one of these to know which direction his face is in, and then I, I started a new layer, that's not a new layer, that's a group, started a new layer, and then I started doing like his eyes and stuff, where those would be, this is really rough, but yeah, like that, and I started another new one, where like, uh, started all the webs, another one where I colored it, so you, Photoshop, you, you, I highly recommend using a lot of layers to do it, because uh, it makes stuff a lot easier, but uh, this is a, a quick demo of how this is used in Photoshop, and uh, I'm getting a new screen recording software for my Mac, so if this wasn't the best quality, uh, the new one I'm getting is, is HD, it records sound, so I don't need to use this to narrate. I can still film it, but I can talk on the uh, computer, but uh, yeah, that's basically all I wanted to say, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll just show you some more, th some other things that I've made on Photoshop, uh, Photoshop Elements, not this one, the old Photoshop that I had. Um... Let me see what is in here. Oh. I did this, where I took Anthony from Epic Meal Time, or not Epic Meal Time, from Smosh. What is this? Uh, I don't want Adobe Bridge. Get out of here. And I put his head on a big 
buff guy's body and gave him tattoos of all of the foods that he's used in food battle. And I also, um, I did it to Ian as well. I'm going to go down to Ian and show you what I did to him. Oh, I did this too. Um, yeah. And I'll show you one more. I'm going to do the Ian thing. There he is. Oh my god, get out of here. I don't want Adobe Bridge. What is this? Oh my god. Yeah, but... I, I put his head on a big fat lady and gave him a pink frosted sprinkled donut. I want to show you one more just because um, it's another thing that I, that I painted in here. I made this, which it's kind of hard to see, but it's Heath Ledger's face on one side and his, him, his Joker face on the other side. There's like blood splatters everywhere. This video is running a little long, so I'm going to cut it short. So, thank you guys for watching, and uh, this is Fucus101 signing out.